Hi, everybody. Uh, we're starting chapter two now. Yay. And chapter two talks about the indicator of an integer. Indicator is the famous phi function, which is that if m is any positive integer, the number of positive integers not greater than m, that means less than or equal to m, and prime to it is called the indicator of m. And it's usually denoted by the letter phi. Uh, and it's usually, and it's often called the uh, Euler's fee function. It's interesting that this is a, they, the, the textbook is using a capital fee. I'm actually used to seeing it with a small fee. Um, let me show, let's give an example of what I'm talking about here. So here we are. Um, uh, so I'm used to this uh, character here, which is a small fee. Anyway, phi of n is equal to the number of positive integers less than or equal to n and relatively prime to n. So for example, phi of 12 is equal to four. Why is that? Because if you look at the numbers from one through 12, one, five, seven, and 11 are all relatively prime to 12, meaning that they don't share any common factors with 12. Now it happens to be that these numbers here uh, are all prime numbers themselves. But, it does, but as you know, a number doesn't have to be prime in order to be relatively prime. Um, now, two, let's look at the rest of the numbers. Let's look at all the numbers there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, uh, 10, uh, 11. Well, two is, shares a factor of two with 12. That's why it doesn't count. Uh, four shares a factor of two, so it's out. Three shares a factor of three with 12. Three and 12 both have factor of uh, three and m. Uh, six, well, six goes into 12, so there's no way that's relatively prime. Um, eight shares a factor of two with 12, factor of four, actually. Nine shares a factor of three, so we can knock those guys out. 10 shares a factor of two with 12. And we're left with those four numbers, one, five. Uh, you know, that, in a very simple way, that's where, they, that's where we get, that's how, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because you might be wondering where did I get these four numbers from? Um, because all the other numbers share a factor with 12. Now, phi of 17 is actually 16, because all these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 16, all of those are relatively prime to 17. In other words, none of these numbers, some of these numbers are prime, some of these numbers are composite, but none of them share any common factors with, with 17, which is not surprising, seeing as 17 is a prime number. And we're going to see how not we're going to see uh, very quickly, very soon, how not surprising that is. Well, let's look at this next one: phi of twenty-seven. Well, phi of twenty-seven is eighteen, uh, because uh, we have one, two, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, uh, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six. These all these numbers are relatively prime. Now, if you notice, what numbers got left out? So you may have noticed I have conse two consecutive numbers and I skip. And it means one, two, the consecutive numbers and I skip a number. Four, five is consecutive and I skip a number. Seven, eight is consecutive and I skip a number. Uh, 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 10, 11 is consecutive and I skip a number. And, and that pattern keeps up. What are the numbers that I'm skipping? Well, the numbers I'm skipping, if you notice, are three, are three uh, six, nine, uh, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24, and of course, uh, 27. Um, so uh, what do we have here? Uh, what, we, what we wind up having is, actually, I'm going to change the color of this to show that these are the numbers that got rejected. So it's a nice rejecting uh, color. I guess have a gray, I think it's like a dull gray. So uh, the, um, and I guess if I want to space them out, the three kind of fits in there and, this, and the uh, six kind of fits in there and the nine kind of fits in there and the, I don't know why I'm doing this, the 12 kind of fits in there. There's these are the numbers that got uh, left, left out. And I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, I don't know what I'm accomplishing by doing this. Well. But I'm just going to show you these are the numbers that are getting that wind up getting uh, left out. Um, so 
basically it's, you know, I have all the numbers from one through 27, but I take out all the multiples of three, if you noticed, and I'm left with these, and these, and these uh, pink numbers here are the numbers that are left. Uh, but there are 18 numbers left, one, two, four, five, seven. If you count this all up, you get 18 numbers. And that's why phi of 27 is equal to 18. Phi of six is equal to two because one and five are relatively prime. Uh, why is that? Well, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six obviously has shares a factor with, with, with itself. Uh, four shares a factor of two. Three shares a factor of three. Uh, two shares a factor of two, and I'm just left with uh, I'm just left with those numbers one and five. So that's the story. Now, one thing you may have noticed here that if p is a prime number, phi of p is equal to p minus one, because all the positive integers less than p are prime to it. An example of that was 17, because in 17, phi of 17 was 16, because all the numbers one through 16 are relatively prime to 17. Now, phi of 27, if you notice, that was equal to 18, like we just explained. So what was it? It was all 27. Now, have the, we'll look at how that came. It was all 27 numbers minus the nine multiples of three. Now, it's not surprising that there are nine multiples of three. It's just 27 divided by three is nine. Anyway, I have 27 minus nine. So it's three to the third minus three to the second. If I factor out three to the third, I get three to the third times one minus one over thir one uh, third. Now, why do I do that? Because that's the, that gives us the general formula. The general formula here is that phi of p of a, where p is a prime, and a is a you know is any exponent. A is a positive integer, of course. So, uh, so uh, that's going to equal p of a minus p of a minus one. In our case, it was three to the third minus three to the second, and then gives p to, and I factor out the p to the a, and I get one minus one over p. So I have this form, um, and let me just. Uh, Let me just say, let me just uh, note that fact that p is a prime. Uh, this formula uh, holds when p is a prime. And that, my friends, is, I believe that's the end of the, I think that's all. And that's the last formula in 2.1. If p is any prime number and alpha is any positive integer, then phi of p to the alpha is equal to p to the alpha times one minus one over p. That's and that's, I'm just kind of, kind of explaining where the form, that's the formula, and I'm kind of explaining where the formula comes from. Some of you may have noticed by now that the more you understand where this stuff comes from, the less mysterious it is, the, the less difficult it is, and even the less mathy it feels, it just feels more like just kind of common sense, if that makes any, if that makes any sense to you. Anyway, that, my friends, is the story. So that is it. We're done. And I will see you guys uh, next time, and we'll uh, continue and have loads of fun. Bye, everybody.